staying climate ready could hinge on understanding what's happening at the far reaches of the earth. A team at Stanford is working with a new technology that could open up those icy regions to a whole new generation of researchers. ABC 7 News meteorologist Drew Tuma has a look. It takes some sophisticated technology to peer through our planet's threatened ice sheets. But now researchers from around the world may have an easier way to explore the damage. Okay, tell me when you're ready, Daddy. A team from Stanford has developed a low-cost, ice-penetrating radar system that's meant to be shared. It's known as ORCA for Open Radar Code Architecture. So an ice-penetrating radar is a system that uses relatively low-frequency radio waves, usually looking straight down through the ice. It takes advantage of the fact that ice is relatively radio transparent at these like hundreds of megahertz and below frequencies. There's uh, uh, RF connectors in the back, and then it connects to these uh, antennas that are underneath the wings. At their lab at Stanford, Thomas Tysberg and Daniel May showed off the drones and radar kits that have been deployed in areas like Greenland and Iceland glaciers in the Arctic Circle. They say peering through the ice is key to understanding melting glaciers and their potential effect on sea level rise. May has focused on the massive Thwaites Doomsday Glacier melting in Antarctica. The geology below the glacier as well as like the temperature within the glacier and trying to figure out how that, that boundary is going to move uh, over time. But often, just getting the radar equipment to the glacier is a major challenge. The Stanford team, including collaborator Anna Broom, have developed makeshift transport systems out of everything from snowmobiles to inner tube mounted sleds. So a standard sled wasn't going to do very well because standard sled is if you pass over even a small crevasse in the ice, uh, the, 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 the sled can get stuck in that, in that crevasse and then you have to dig it out and that's a whole pain. Um, so this concept of using a whole bunch of inner tubes linked by flexible bamboo uh, was really great. They say the goal is to help a research team build affordable equipment unique to their work. While some ice penetrating radar systems used by government agencies can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, the Stanford team says they can build a base model for about $1,500 using their open source design, potentially giving global research teams a chance to help find solutions to a problem threatening our entire planet. At Stanford, Drew Tuma, ABC 7 News.